all right welcome back now in this particular tutorial we're going to learn uh, one of the most exciting data visualization tools over here which is power bi all right so um if you want to become a good data scientist or good data analyst right or business analyst you need to master at least one data visualization tool okay there are quite a lot of data visualization tools over there but you need to master one of them okay and in this course we're going to go with one of the leading data visualization tools which is power bi all right there are quite a lot of things that you can do with power bi and we're going to see the amazing features of this power bi in this particular course right we're going to see how we import data into power bi analyze it build dashboards and i mean a whole lot of things that we do in the industry uh we're going to see it in this particular um, data visualization course okay all right there are quite a lot of um things that we're going to do when it comes to um, Power BI. And Power BI is very much awesome. It's loved by data scientists and I mean, data analysts and business analysts in the industry is, is much. I'll show you the, I mean, the the research and what everything that is out there. Okay. We will see what the industry is saying about Power BI and the other data visualization tools. Okay. And I'm sure you're going to love this course. Um, there are quite a lot of hands-on and practical um, things that we're going to do with Power BI, which will make you more much more understand um this power bi okay now you, you might be wondering why we chose power bi because there are others like tableau and uh click and um a lot more right a lot more data visualization tools out there but why are we going with power bi okay so um the answer is actually uh, inside the Gartner Magic Quadrant. Okay, so Gartner is one of the leading research companies in the world. Okay, if you talk about the top three research companies in the world, Gartner is part of them. All right, so each and every year they do research about the best data visualization tools out there, right? And for the past five consistent years, Microsoft Power BI has emerged as the leader when it comes to data visualization tools. Okay, and that's why we are going to go with that. In fact, you can actually click on this link that I've given you over here and then you go and see it for yourself. Okay, so this um, right from Gartner's page, you can see Gartner.com, right? This right from Gartner's page. If you don't know about Gartner, you can just Google them and then see uh, their credibility out there, right? Now, if you see the magic quadrant over here, you can see that Microsoft image the best, okay? Microsoft here represents Microsoft Power BI, okay? And um, Tableau is owned by Salesforce, which is the second. And then click, okay, which is the third over here, right? So you can see the others are now somewhere down here, right? But you can see Microsoft image the best, okay? And this one is as of January 2022, okay? That's the current report over here, right? And 2021, they were the leaders. The 2020, they were the leaders. 2019, 18, 17, they were the leaders, okay? So, I mean, it's, it's, it's like almost 95% of the industry use Microsoft Power BI, okay? And that's why it's important to also use it because it's quite possible that the company that you're gonna work with are using Power BI already. And it's, I mean, that will make your work easier, right, to fit in, right? And I mean, you can also learn Tableau. You can also learn Tableau because that's the second largest, okay? The second largest. So it's likely the company is either using Microsoft Power BI or using Tableau blue right or maybe in some circumstances using both of them right so i mean it's, it's also quite advisable if you want to peep into tableau as well all right but in this course we're going to start with all we're going to do um i mean we're going to dive much deeper into microsoft power bi all right okay now there are certain things that you need to take into consideration when it comes to power bi okay um there are some requirements that you need to understand over here when it comes to power bi Power BI actually works on Windows, right? It's a Microsoft product. So they've built it for Windows laptops, okay? So, so far it is available only on Windows, okay? If you're using the Mac, um, there are some other ways which I'll show you, right? But I mean, it's, it's, it's mainly built for Windows um, laptops, okay? And these are the requirements over here which you can use. Um, I mean, if you're using Mac, don't, don't give up yet. I know how it is, right? Don't give up yet. I'll show you how you can also use it. I am using Mac right now as I am um, talking to you, right? And I'm going to um, teach this course on my Mac. So, I mean, don't give up yet, all right? Okay, so I mean Windows, I mean, as I said, you need, um, I mean, at least two gigabytes available for these kind of um, things that we're gonna do. And the display is, I mean, this, I mean, you don't need to worry about this. Most of, most laptops have these things already, 
right? So it's likely that your laptop is um, able to contain this thing. So you don't need to worry about that one at all. All right. Um, one important thing that you need to take into consideration is that Power BI is no more supported on Windows 7. Okay. So if you're on Windows 7, you need to upgrade to, I mean, Windows 8 and above. Okay. Right now I'm using Windows 11, right? I'm using Mac in conjunction with Windows. Okay. So I'm using Windows 11 on my Mac right now. Right. So th that's what I'm going to use. So make sure that if you are on Windows 7, just update it. Okay. Just update it to Windows 8 or 10 or or I mean the latest which is 11 all right all right so that that's that's the requirement um however as i said there are other options for mac okay there are other options for mac so on mac you can use what is called parallels okay and parallels will help you install windows inside your mac okay right now i'm using my mac but i mean i'm also using windows on my mac okay so if i come here you can see that i have um, here is Windows. You can see the Windows, all the Windows features over here, right? You can see every Windows. This is Windows um, 11, okay? So you can see all the Windows uh, features over here, okay? Every Windows features that you, you can think of, I have I have them over here, right? Because I've installed Windows on my Mac and that's what I'm, I'm going to um, use over here, okay? That's what I'm going to use. So, I mean, you can easily... Um, use use windows on your mac okay if i switch to this part you see that here i'm using mac okay i have my mac you can see that about this mac okay but if i go here this is windows okay here i don't have any mac over here i have windows over here okay i have windows over here right but if i switch here i have mac okay so that's that's what i'm using you can see up here right if i click on this you can see that i have windows 11 over there which i'm using you can see that i'm using parallels okay and it's telling me buy parallels and stuff like that i'm even using a free trial i've not bought it yet okay um okay until the free trial ends before i will uh, think of buying it but right now i've not even bought it i'm using the free trial to use it so you can just um download it and also use it use the 14 day free trial to follow along the course right and then after that if you want to go ahead and buy that that's okay okay you can also buy it right if i go to their page over here right this is parallels okay you can come here and then you download it right if you want to buy uh if you're a student the price is quite cheaper it's like 19 uh 40 dollars per year okay it's like 40 dollars per year right you can also do that right um or maybe 79 if you're not a student okay you can do that okay but i mean i am as i said i'm using the free version right now i'm not i've not even bought anything i'm using the free version so if you go to parallels.com okay let me go there and you will see if you go here you can easily download the free trial okay download the free trial and you have a 14 day free trial right if i click on that okay you will be able to use the free trial for 14 days okay you get access to a uh, full featured free um i mean trial okay and you can just switch between windows and mac like that okay windows and mac like that okay so that's basically what i'm using to teach this course all right uh, if i want i will up upgrade it so that i'll have it for the entire year right so that's that's another option for you to use if you are if you're on mac all right, but uh, one one thing that I should also point out is that if you want to go and use Mac, um, I mean, if you want to go and use Parallels on your Windows, then you have to make sure that um, you have space, okay? You have space in your Mac because it's also going to contain space, okay? It's going to contain space in your in your Mac. So you need to make sure that you have enough space to be able to download it, okay? To download the Windows. On your mac all right mostly if you're using um with macbook pro you don't have a problem but if you're using macbook air right then that becomes a little bit challenge because uh, macbook air will be having lower memory right but you can upgrade the memory and then or maybe delete a lot, whole lot of things from your um your mac or maybe you can just take a lot of files from your mac to your hard drive and something like that and then you create a space so that you'll be able to download it okay another option is to use a virtual box okay if you use a virtual box to do it um there's some tutorials I'll, I'll point you to how to use a virtual box to create um i mean to create a virtual windows for for microsoft windows and you can use it okay and the last option here is to use i mean use tableau instead of power bi okay use tableau instead of power bi as i said there are two leading data visualization tools there which is power bi and then tableau okay so each one of the them is fine right it's not that you have to 
go with power bi straightly you can also go with tableau all right and um as i said there are some links that i've pointed you to okay that will help you to install these things um easily okay if you need any guidelines these three links should help you install um, be able to use your power bi on your mac okay all right um so the recommendation here that i i have for you is to learn either of these things all right learn either microsoft power bi or learn tableau okay learn tableau or power bi okay either of them is fine or if you have time to learn both of them that is also okay okay that is also okay i've given you some link over here right which you can check it out okay if you click on any place here right any of the place or even the test here you'll be able to go to that link i've gone through myself and i know it's a good one that's why i've recorded i mean recommended it for you okay so that's so like really where if you I click on it yeah you will come keep here this option open same thing for my um geospatial mapping while right? people look at tables they can still look at it's, bookcases or copiers and say it's actually a good one right it's actually a good one so i mean go to, just go through if you want to go with um tableau just go through it even if you don't want to go with tableau you still want to go with power bi okay you can go with power bi and then later on you can still come and watch it all right it's, it's quite a good tutorial all right so um we're gonna move forward and then uh we're going to do um we're gonna concentrate on power bi as i said i mean that's the leader and we want to go with the leader okay so that's what we're gonna do in, i mean moving forward in this particular course all right, so um, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we're going to be hands-on. We're going to actually go to download the Power BI desktop and we will start working with Power BI. And I'm sure you're going to very much enjoy the rest of this course. All right, um, see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.